I know you all were wondering, since I did a My Favorite Products of 2018 or what I've been using, of course I had to do a product that I wasn't really feeling that I've been using. Some of these in 2018 and before. So we're going to say 2017, 2018. It's quite a lot of products on here. Now I am in no way, I am not bashing any companies, but of course as you know, just because some people love these products don't mean that my hair is going to love these products and hey, that's just the way it is. So definitely feel free in the comments to let me know whether you've liked these products or if you didn't, why, and we can have like a little, you know, a little discussion. So the first product that I wanna talk about is the TGIN, and this is the Curl Balm. This is a moisturizing styling gel. Where? When I tell you I was so excited for this gel, I was so excited. Like I went to Sally's, I wanna say literally every other day. Like I was trying to find this product so hard and then finally found it. Use it, flakes dry. I was like, normally you'll get one or the other. You'll either get flakes or the product will be dry. But to get both, to have this product flake on me and to be dry AF, I was just, I was so disappointed. I, oh, I was so mad. There was potential for this product, but it just, it totally missed the mark. And I've tried it with different leave-ins. Um, it, it, every product flaked. And I'm not used to that happening. Like at least one product will work, but even TGIN's products didn't work with this gel. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's me. It's my raggedy hair. Like, it's just my raggedy hair, obviously. The next products are by Honey Baby Naturals. And this is the Not My Honey Instant Detangler and also the Moisture and Scalp Shampoo. <sighs> the shampoo was really... So here's my thing with shampoos. I, y'all know I like a moisturizing shampoo. Okay, we get it, girl. But if you're gonna be a clarifying shampoo, that is fine, but just list that on the bottle. I did not get the moisture out of the shampoo. Like, it felt like it was more so a clarifying shampoo and it stripped my hair. So I'm like, moisturizing? The Not My Honey, which is a um, detangler, also, it, it didn't have enough slip for me, for my hair. My hair is super thick, by the way, so I mean, maybe someone with finer hair this will work for, but it didn't really work for me. It took me longer to detangle using this, so I was just like, well... <laughs> the next product that I was so disappointed in, I was so excited for this. The Cantu Anti-Fade Color Protecting Moisture Mask, and this is the Quinoa Protect. I was so excited to finally find these products, which I found them at the hair show. I still have not seen this line in any store, well, any of the stores that I go to, I still haven't seen this line. I don't know why, but whatever. Found this at Ubiquitous last year. Uh, they weren't selling products, but you could like play a game or something and get it. And I was like, look, all I want is a DC. I don't want them. And the guy was like, here you go, girl. Thank you. Um, and then I used it twice and I was just like, ah. and I used to color my hair um, jet black often. And that is why I wanted this so bad because Jet black, I have grays popping up in the front, normally just on the side. And so I hate when I feel like my jet black dye fades super quick. Maybe it's for lighter colors, like a brown or a blonde or definitely like a red. Maybe I did, there was no moisture for me either. So I'm like, okay, it's not a moisturizing deep conditioner. My black is still fading child and I just, it, Another Cantu product, which is an oldie. Ah, a lot of you have probably used this. This is the leave-in conditioning cream. When I first went natural, I used this 
faithfully like this is the only thing that I would use for my washing goes back then the only thing I wasn't using gel. I honestly didn't start using gel on my washing goes until maybe like a year and a half ago <laughs> um this was just bae and I bought it again recently and I'm like did the formula change because it just isn't the same like I I don't know I my hair didn't feel soft using this like this used to be old faithful and it's no longer I feel so bad I might try it one more time just just because I want it to be bae all over again next products are from Carol's daughter and this is the Rasul clay this is the shampoo and the conditioner I have the DC which I really like the DC the shampoo and the conditioner is just ain't hitting it for me um, the conditioner I've gone through probably out of desperation because it's nothing in here the shampoo I still have it it's all the way up here actually it just me and Carol's daughter eh, we got a love-hate relationship but I, I couldn't I just didn't like it like I just didn't if you're gonna get a DC um, from Carol's daughter I would suggest getting the I think it's called the almond cookie or the almond shade or something like that definitely get that one design essentials is it just me is it just me I have so many design essential products and none of them have worked out for me everybody and I, I fell into it oh they're expensive they gotta work like they have to be amazing everybody is raving about these products and none of them have worked for me none and you know how expensive they are so I'm a little pissed that I paid my money for these products and none of them really work. so the first product is the natural honey curl forming custard with honey I, I I don't even really understand what this is it's I'm trying to see if I can show you guys so this is like a gel but it's not a gel so when you dip your hands into the product it's not thick it's almost super watery I, I, I don't even understand it I don't understand it because it's technically not a gel it's just supposed to I don't I don't get it I tried to use it on my edges but it's too watery for my edges it's not enough to be using it as a wash and go because it's only what eight fluid ounces so it's like what, what am I using this for the daily moisturizing lotion sticky 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 and apparently I guess I forgot that I had one already and then I tried it again in a bigger freaking bottle so I have two of these and they're both sticky they're both sticky last but not least the curl stretching cream I don't like this either you know when you use a product and you're twisting your hair and you have like your hands are just so sticky and gooby that's what this is I cannot stand that feeling it drives me literally up a wall and I just I don't I don't like it I don't I don't know why design essentials just does not work for me it just doesn't like me and I am no longer going to try any more of their expensive products because it is a waste of my money next up we have cream of nature and this is the perfect edges extra hold extra hold Ex extra hold for who for am I the only one that hates edge control I I I I, I literally don't get it I don't get it the only thing that has remotely worked as I guess an edge control is the curls oh my gosh I think it's called the curls paste or something like that 
They have a blueberry one and then they have the regular one. The regular one really works. I don't buy it because it's like $13, I think. Um, it's either, I don't know, it's between like nine and like 12-ish or something. You can get it at Target. That actually works for my edges. I can't even lie, but it's so small. I think it's like four ounces or something like that for like nine to $12. But the rest of these edge controls, extra firm, like, you're lying. So the next products are by Mia Organics. This is the Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. Y'all should have heard how I just botched that name, by the way. Um, and this is for dry and curly hair types. This is the shampoo. I don't necessarily hate this, but it's... I can buy my swab and get like the same results. And the swab was like, what, $2.99? Could be $1.99 if it's on sale. So for me to spend, what are these? Probably like $9, maybe nine or 12, to spend that amount of money on eight fluid ounces of shampoo that's not that amazing. It's just, well, since why? The next one, which I, man, I searched so hard for this line. Again, stalking them at Sally. Do y'all have the Miel? Did the Miel come in? Do y'all know when the Miel is coming in? Since is the Miel coming in? Was looking every other day. I think I like the rest of the products from the line besides this one. This is the only one that I don't like and this is the Twisting Souffle. It smells really good but it just, it didn't do anything really for my hair. And it, my hair was dry, like honestly. Even with me using a leave-in, and I always use, if I'm nervous about a product, I will always use my two faithful leave-ins, which is the um, Camille Rose Honey or the Camille Rose Herbal Tea Faithfuls. They normally go with any product that I use. If it doesn't go well with the product, then I know the product gotta be trash, girl. I, my hair was still dry, and I was like, what? What? You mean to tell me I was wasting gas all the time? And you're dry, you're dry, you're so dry. Next we have African Pride and this is the Moisture Miracle Honey Chocolate and Coconut Oil Conditioner, which I recently did a review on this product and I just, yo, look how I had to squeeze this bottle to even get the product out. Who, who has the time? Who has the time to do that? Every single time they wanna wash their hair. Juice. I don't know, I don't like it. It, just, it doesn't work for me and the rest of the line is bomb, so that's okay. Again, one bag product out of a full line, it's, it's all. I know some of y'all are gonna stone me for this, but Camille Rose, <laughs> this is the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with castor and aniseed oil. <sighs> I, the Camille Rose hype has died down for me, I mean, a, a long time ago. But when I went to the hair show, I definitely wanted to try this out because I think it was like one of the products that I just haven't tried yet. And I just, this product is so scammy. I don't know, like, I mean, it gets the job done, but it's just like for the price that you pay for this, you can get, you can get VO5, sis. Like, I'm just saying. I, I about the Camille Rose, these are the leave-in conditioners. So, when I went to the World Natural Hair Show, that's when the leave-in conditioners were debuted. So this is what it looked like at the World Natural Hair Show. And then about a year later, or maybe that same year, but around Black Friday, this was the new packaging. At the World Natural Hair Show, I didn't like this. This is still full. Um, and then when I had to buy it again, I still don't like it. I This is, the latte is the only one that I don't like. Now at the time, she was always selling them together. So you get three, you got the herbal, the honey, and then the latte. So I couldn't buy them separately. I had to buy the whole collection, which was like, sis. Now you can buy them separately. You can even find them at Target now. So it's like, ugh. But I just, no, no. Oh, I'm going to get stoned again. The main choice. 
The main choice. The main choice. I have not found a product from the main choice that I have liked thus far. I feel so bad saying that. Now here's, here's the reason, here's the real reason. I have tried a couple of products from the main choice that I didn't like. It's hard for me to spend the money because main choice is pretty expensive. It's it's on the higher side of you know the cost for hair products. So the thought of me just trying so many different things from the line to figure out what I like, it just doesn't make sense for me. And this, I want to say. You know what's so hard for me is that so I've seen so many people actually really like this gel. And I'll be like, what do y'all do that I'm not doing? Like, I just, I don't get it. This is the Crystal Orchid Biotin Infused Styling Gel. I don't, let me tell you the crazy thing about this product. When you first use this product, you're like, yo, yo. This is so good. And then time goes on and it's, it gets drier and drier and yo, the next day, you look so effing crazy. <laughs> your, your hair looks so crazy. Your hair looks so wild, so wild. It feels so dry. It starts to flake up. I don't know how y'all are using this product. Please, 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 because I still have a lot of this. If you have the concoction that works well with this gel, tell me what it is. Because I cannot get past day one. And I'm not washing my hair every single day. I'm not washing my hair every single day. Here's the other product. This is the Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover Manageability and Softening Remedy. And this is the Moisturizing Styling Cream. Issue I have with this product is like I mentioned before with, I forgot, something else that I was using. That sticky feeling, I like I can't, I can't get past it. I've used it on my hair a couple of times. I think to me it's best on dry hair. I don't recommend using this on wet hair at all. Um, dry hair if you're doing a braid out or a twist out. It is moisturizing, it does give you the shine. I just can't get past that waxy feeling. It just drives me up a wall. The other product that kind of breaks my heart because I love She Sent It. If you saw in my last video when I was talking about the, my products of the year, like I really love She Sent It products, but the Macadamia Fixing Gel, I just think it's not for my hair type. I think it's for classic, 3A, 3B, I know y'all don't hair type. I know, I know, um, but I just think it's not for me. It's extremely, hold on. It's extremely, extremely watery. Um, it, it's just, I don't, I, I don't, it's just not for me. This is the Eco Style Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Deep Conditioning Therapy. Now, I actually like this product. But I want to talk about the leave-in that's a spray. I threw it away already, so I can't even talk about it. I wish I just would have kept it. But this I actually like. This is not bad. This is a decent product. This is not like amazing. Like it's like I'm not running to go find these and stock up on them. But the leave-in is such trash. Like, oh my goodness. Y'all need to find me a video of somebody that says that they love that leave-in conditioner. It's a spray bottle number one, which is already like, girl. But it is just so bad. It's so bad. It's not even funny. It's horrible. So the last product that I want to talk about is from Carol's Daughter, and I don't even know how to pronounce this. But it doesn't matter because I don't like it anyway. It gives me that same waxy buildup on my hands that the Design Essentials Stretching Cream does. And I don't, again, I don't like that. So I can't get down with it. I've actually learned for myself that I don't think I like many creams. I think butters work better on my hair than styling cream. Like the only cream that I feel like really gets the job done is the As I Am Double Buttercream. 
but I think it's because it's a butter and a cream, like if that makes sense. Things that are just like twisting creams, I, I just, my hair just does not like them. I think it's too heavy for my hair. Um, I think I am better off mixing Jamaican black castor oil with butters and with my twist outs and for my washing goes obviously like a leave-in and a gel and I think that's it for me like oh, I'm still a product junkie so I'm still gonna try a lot of things but I've come to the conclusion that I think that that's the concoction that my hair likes and if we're hair typing I feel like my hair is like 4A 4B you can correct me if I'm wrong. So many of these I just can't. Like even the um the Shea Moisture Lock and Braid Butter. Oh, amazing. It is my BFF. Like I get amazing results whenever I use that or whenever I use the As I Am Double Butter Cream. So yeah, I've come to that conclusion. <laughs> Butters are the way for me. Styling creams. They just seem to not work. I don't know if they're too heavy for my hair or what, but we're not, we're just gonna stop using those all together. I'm lying. I'll probably try it if it's new girl. So that is it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down below if you've tried these products, how you feel about these products. Do you like them? Do you also not like them? Do you feel that I'm doing something wrong? Do you think that I need to use them again with another concoction? I'm down to try it. I'm down to even try it and film it. So definitely let me know and I will talk to you all real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.